Hi everyone, I'm Annette Watson with the Special Events Department with the City of Chandler. We're excited to be here today and show you some fun crafts that you can do at home. The theme today is going to be Lion King, which is one of our movies at Cine Park. We couldn't bring to you, so we're hoping that you can enjoy that in your home and maybe have a movie night and do this craft at home with your family. So let's get started with the Lion King tale. For this craft, you're going to need a stapler, some tape, a ruler, a piece of paper, a pair of scissors, a grocery plastic bag, a marker, and a safety pin. So let's get started. What I would suggest if you have any paper laying around your house, it doesn't have to be tan, but typically lion tails are tan or a yellow color. Newspaper, a paper bag, anything will work. I'm gonna use an eight and a half by 11 piece of construction paper. You do want it to be at least 11 inches long. You're gonna cut a, at least a four inch strip. Now an easy thing to do if you have kids and you don't wanna mess with rulers, is just to go ahead and fold that paper in half. And when you open it, this is approximately the size you need, which will work perfect. Now, we're gonna use this today. Kind of flatten it out on your counter and fold it in half. You're gonna want your handles to come together because what you're gonna do is you're going to take your scissors and you're gonna trim the end off of this back so that it's a straight edge. That'll just make it easier to work with and a little cleaner. So once you've laid it out and got your handles together, go ahead and trim off the end of that bag. So it'll just be an easy straight edge to work with. Now you're gonna take this bag and gather it in a bunch in your hand on the sealed end. Leave the end you cut open so that it can be used later. So you're gonna take the sealed end and gather it in a bunch in your hand. That's about two inches, which is about what you need. Once you've done that, hold that, pinch it in your hand, take a piece of tape, and just wrap it around that bunched end. That's just gonna be an easy marker for you later. Make it a little easier for what we're gonna do. Okay, so now this is going to be, just kind of give you an idea, the little tuft on the end of the lion's tail. So that's gonna become these little hairs on the end of the tail. So while you have this bag, you're gonna be using this to kind of anchor it into your tail. This is gonna be the hair of your lion's tail. So decide how long or how short you want it. Doesn't matter, it's up to you. I'm gonna go about right there. You're gonna trim off the excess once you've decided the length of the tail you kinda wanna work with. So now I have this little funny looking bag cut short. I'm gonna fan it out a little bit. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna fray this end with your scissors. Kind of make it look like little teeny hairs. All you're gonna do is start cutting strips into the bag. Be careful not to cross cut or you'll lose pieces of your little hairs, your plastic. So again, just cut. You can make them as skinny or as fat as you want, it doesn't matter. Um, once you get a couple of cuts in, go ahead and fan it out. It almost resembles like a little pom-pom. So fan it out so you can kind of see if there's, any, if there's any super wide pieces that you don't like, go ahead and just trim those just to kind of make it fun and poofy for your lion's tail. Now you're gonna take that strip of paper that we had cut in the first part of this and you're going to lay the frayed piece of plastic with the piece of tape on the very edge of your strip of paper. You can use tape, you can use a stapler. I'm gonna use a stapler just because it's a little easier. So you're gonna put it right in the middle of that paper and stapler tape it so it kinda looks like this. So again, you want that frayed end sticking out. Now you're going to take your little piece of paper, your strip, and you're simply gonna roll it into a tube. Um, and again, it doesn't matter how perfect it is. Again, this is for kids. Let them kind of have fun with it. Um, take a piece of tape and seal the tube to kind of hold its shape, hold it in place near the frayed end. And then I like to staple the opposite end flat just to kind of close that tube. This serves two purposes. It helps the little tail, of course, hold its shape in the tube, but it also makes it easy so that once your little tail is pretty much done, you can take a safety pin, and it's a little easier to push it through this flat, flattened end where you had stapled. Now you have your little tiger's tail, so you can attach it to your kid's clothing or their stuffed animal, whatever they want, so that they can go and be their very own lion. And if you want, take a marker and decorate the tail, write their name on it. Just have fun with it, and remember your imagination is your limit. Have fun.